Good morning. So, I have just received this in, in the mail, uh, and I will explain you what it is. Basically, one of the issues I have discovered with the Evo is that it doesn't have a, a proper way to see the, the oil temperature and uh, the uh, oil pressure. And also, if you want to see, for example, the SST temperature and all these things, you need to go deeper into the OBD, you need to use Torque Pro, uh, MQTV2, anyway, so I, I, because it's very important to have a, a, an overview of those very critical uh, readings of the car before you start pushing it, especially if it's tuned, because mine is tuned, uh, I discovered a way to, uh, to see this all on my big Android screen. Uh, so, the way that that is possible, there is a, a hardware unit it, that's coming from uh, Autosport Labs. It's a US-based company, and uh, they have basically three three different uh, units, three three different three different telemetry units. It's the track, the track unit, the race capture track, race capture pro, and race capture apex. It depends on what you want to do. So, so what they did is, is I went ahead and I ordered the track unit, and now. I'm going to do the, the, the unboxing, I'm going to show you what it is and in the in the next video I'm going to, to install it and show you exactly what it is and how, how you should uh, w work with it and what kind of readings you can get from it. So, this is the box that it came with, it came from, from the US. So, this is the race capture track. Uh, I will open this box later. This is the uh, oil temperature sensor. Okay, I will also show you this later. That is the uh, oil pressure sensor. And this is a little uh, unit that it's called Analog X. And what you do with this, you basically connect those, un those uh, sensors onto the unit and then you connect the main unit to the car. So, let's go through those things and I will show you what is what. So, so this is the race capture track. It's very, very small. Wow. So, see, it's very small. It fits in the palm of your hand. You connect this using the, uh, there's an RJ45 cable here, so this is your, your RJ45 cable, and this cable, this, this, this RJ45 cable connects here, and then you connect that to your OBD, okay, that's one way. Uh, this is an antenna, you connect an antenna so you can have a GPS connection, uh, yes, GPS connection with the car for, for track applications because it's, it's a telemetry system and you can also see uh, your, 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 uh, your, your telemetry data, uh, you can also see uh, your, your best lap time uh, on the, you know, if you, if, you, if you track your car and everything. And then there's another cable here, this is uh, USB type uh, B cable, I think. It, so yeah, it's a mini USB cable that you can connect it to your PC. Okay. So the con the connectivity is done as follows: you connect that st straight to your to your OBD, and then you connect this w wirelessly with your your Android head unit, and then you have a, a very nice user interface that you can see all the very important uh, readouts of the car. Okay, so what do you do then? Because this unit does not take sensors. You cannot connect uh, outside sensors. You cannot connect analog sensors on the unit. So what the guys over at uh, Autosport Labs have done, they've created this hardware unit. It's very small. See, this is called Analog X. And, and what this does is this basically connects, uh, you can connect here your sensors, you, you can connect here the different sensors, the different uh, output, the different analog sensors, uh, okay, 
and then you connect that to an RJ45 cable. There is a there's a there's a the, the cabling is shown, so you connect that to, to, to an RJ45 cable. You connect the RJ45 cable here, okay. So the RJ45 cable goes here from from the analog X. Sorry, from the analog X. Sorry, so the RJ45 cable from the analog X goes here. The uh, uh, the cable coming from the, from the OBD, so the OBD port of the car to that ends up to the RJ45 goes here, and then this goes and connects to uh, the Race Capture Pro. Okay, so so this is how the connectivity is done. I will also post links on the bottom so you can see. Now, finally, what you will need is you will need to connect your, your sensors. So, this is the pressure sensor. There is uh, there is a screw on the top of... Uh, so, so this, is an, this is an EVO 10. So, there is a screw on top of uh, the uh, oil filter that you remove. It's a golden screw. You remove it and you put that. But, there is no screw for the oil temperature. And what you will need is you will need... Uh, this, which is basically, it, it, this is an adapter, you can read here, it is an M14 uh, uh, with a depth of 1.4, the, 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 it's an adapter to 18 NPT female. So here is you, you will connect your sensor here, the uh, oil sensor here. There it is. Okay, so you connect the, the oil sensor. This is the oil temperature sensor. You connect it here, and then this goes to your drain plug. So so you remove the oil drain plug, and you and you put that. There is also a washer here, so it, so it doesn't leak. And then you connect all all the cable. You will need some 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 electronic guy to to do this for you. Connect all the cable, and then you're set. So. In the following video, what I will do is I will not have time to connect the different sensors. I will find some other time to connect the sensors, but what I will do is I will connect the main unit to the, the OBD2 reading. So stay tuned. There's another video coming up. So this is the end. Thank you for watching. It was very, very quick. So um, I will try to, to configure the, the, the Race Capture Pro, the Race Capture Track. It's a very nice unit. Uh, I would like also to thank the guys over at Autosport Labs. So, thank you so much for, for watching. Bye-bye.